What's up, guys? Welcome to the Steelers Game Day Post Game. So I'm Nason Sapesky, your host. Tonight we are going to recap the Steelers' 37-15 win over the New York Jets. Truly an incredible victory. Truly an incredible game. Super proud of how the Steelers play. This is how we need to be every day game if we want to so other teams what we're truly about. And I mean, the way we play tonight, if we continue to play like that, I wouldn't be surprised if on Christmas we give Kansas City a legitimate run for their money. I know I've been saying on the other like account and that and the prediction shows that I believe they will have a perfect season and I still do hold true to that belief as they did beat the Niners today and they look more impressive than ever before. I mean they have a cupcake schedule coming up but with the Raiders, the Buccaneers and that, but hey, maybe we could end their perfect season if they still have one at that point, but Anyway, though, that's how well I feel like we played today. I feel like we played on an elite offensive level, and tonight is why we... Tonight shows you the differences of night and day between Kenny Pickett and Matt Canada and Arthur Smith and Russell Wilson. I mean, Pickett wasn't good by any means here, and even today he's played in Philly some and didn't impress, but that, that shouldn't be the focus. I mean... Picking Canada, it just it didn't work out. It did enough to get us into the playoffs, but li literally did nothing other than that. But yeah, it just it does show you there's difference. It's like nine day between those two and Smith and Wilson. I mean, I thought Arthur Smith and Mike Tomlin did brilliant tonight. Tomlin has actually had a very good season in terms of his coaching. He's coached four fabulous games. Four out of these five wins have been fabulous coaching jobs with the lone one not being included in there, the Atlanta game, which I don't think he did a bad job, but I don't think he did a great job, so it was neutral. And the two losses, I could only really blame him much for the Indianapolis one. I know he got a lot of heat after the Dallas loss, but I don't give him as much heat as people think for that. I just think that was a bad loss at the hands of the Cowboys. But anyway, though, I thought they coached a great game. Smith showed why he's the guy for Pittsburgh. The way he ran the the way he instructed Russ to run the offense. Russ ran the offense beautifully. I mean, we all wanted Justin Fields, and I thought Justin Fields should have started this game. However, Russ is the answer, I feel like, right now. Russ showed why he was here, and man, man, was I yearning for Russell Wilson to Darnell Washington. That was my favorite part of the entire night. I wanted to see that more than anything. I mean, I thought Darnell Washington was gonna be a really good prospect. He is disappointed so far for me. And Russell Wilson, another guy I wanted here. I, I was yearning for that. I'm so, I'm, I'm, words can't describe how thrilled I am. Because I'm tired of getting ready to go to bed here. But I'm thrilled to see those two connect as well as they did. The run game was solid. The O-line stepped up in the second half. The first half, everybody looked shaky. But the second half, we just we dominated. We took it to the Jets. And that's the team I want to be. This is the these are the type of games I want to have. The offense was impressive. The defense was phenomenal. So, yeah, that's literally all I have to say. It was a great night for the Steelers. 37-15 winners. Russ did great. Big game by the run game. And, yeah, everybody looked good. And, like I said, this is going to be the game where Arthur Smith develops his reputation and does a good job. I didn't expect it to be this good, but... I think that Tomlin made a very good hire in him. I mean, didn't start out that strong, but I don't think he's made many mistakes this year, Arthur Smith, to be honest. I don't think he has. He's done a really, really, really good job as our offensive coordinator. And I will say this, though. I'm stunned he didn't decide to kneel to end the game. I'm surprised he won for that touchdown there, considering the whole Dennis Allen thing. So... Yeah, definitely interesting for sure. It's going to be interesting to see what happens next. I'm definitely looking forward to it. It'll be interesting. So that's all I got for you guys today. Sorry it was so quick. Just getting tired, you know. Great night. Great everything. Steelers host the Giants next week, Monday Night Football. Daniel Jones was bent today for Drew Locke, supposedly, in New York. Definitely not a good situation up there. They do, though, have star receiver Malik Neighbors. One who I'm definitely interested in seeing. Tyrone Tracy, if Devin Singletary doesn't come back, will be another good one. And, yeah, I mean, this is clearly a rebuilding roster, so no reason why we shouldn't get another win. It's definitely going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. Can't wait for the week ahead. 
Let's just enjoy this one, though. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Hope you enjoyed. In the meantime, have a good one. Take care. Stay safe. And as always, peace. See you guys next week for the Giants.